Welcome back. This is April, the end of April, 2023, and uh, just getting the car out, getting it ready to drive this summer, and trying to fix a couple of things that were wrong with it last year, one of them being that it blows a bit of smoke sometimes. And uh, so I think I know what the issue is, and I'm hoping that I know what the issue is. It wasn't the oil pressure relief valve, I don't think. Um, so I'm going to pull the head off and pull out the, the valve springs and see if when the head was rebuilt 20 years ago, if they installed valve stem seals, which I'm hoping that they didn't or that in the 20 years that the head sat there that they just rotted away and that oil is leaking down through the intake valves, causing, um, causing it to smoke a little bit at certain times. So I'm gonna drain the coolant, disconnect, a uh, bunch of the components here. Uh, I'll probably check the the uh, pressure on each cylinder before I pull the head off, just just to make sure that there isn't uh, something bigger going on. And then uh, I'll come back when I've got the head off, unless I find something interesting. So here are my results. Um, the four cylinders, the compression on all four is pretty close to what I found about uh, a year and a half ago when I last checked. Um, the front one is about 150, then 140, 145, and 150 at the back. So not too far out. Um, uh, just looking down spark plug holes, Tops of the pistons look a little bit cleaner, I think, than than they have previously, and the piston or the uh, spark plugs are looking pretty decent too. So I think the next thing I'm going to try is put the spark plugs back in, put the distributor cap back on, and try and run it with the valve cover off, and see if I can see if if maybe there's too much wear on, um, you know, the, the shaft that the rockers run on and see if there's uh, a lot of oil, maybe too much oil coming out, you know, around here where it gets pumped through that shaft. And perhaps there's just, there's too much oil building up inside here faster than it can drain when the engine's cold. When the engine's warm, it doesn't blow smoke. It's uh, I think when the when the oil thins out a little bit, then it it runs more freely. Of course, the the oil pressure drops too. So, but there is certainly a lot of oil sitting sitting just in the top of the uh, of the head here. So, I'm curious to see with the engine running if I can get it going like this um, to see if it's if there's if I should replace that shaft that the rockers run on as well. So, we'll see if we can get it running just like this. Just in case anybody's interested, this is. What the spark plugs look like. Um, they haven't had many miles on these spark plugs, uh, but they're, I think they're a little bit fouled. They're not as bad as I've seen them before, so maybe the rings are starting to get seated. It's been about uh, just over a thousand miles on this engine since it was rebuilt, uh, so hopefully it's, you know, starting to settle down just a little bit, but I'm going to clean these up before I put them back in because it was running really terribly. Um, I had it out last weekend, and uh, it ran great for about a day, and then the next day it was it was really bad. So, which is why I'm ripping it all apart right now. Anyway, that's what those four spark plugs look like. Um, not the worst I've seen them. Not great, of course, but uh, we'll clean them up and have a look at the oil. This may turn out to be a horrible idea, but I'm going to try and fire the engine up without the rocker cover on, and uh, hopefully it doesn't make a horrible mess. Um, I'll just run it for a couple seconds and make sure that it's not just pouring oil over the sides of the engine. 
So let's take a look and see what happens. wasn't a glowing success but it did look like uh, the engine was obviously running terribly but uh, what I was looking for was just to see how much oil was you know pouring out in these spots and it wasn't terrible there was lots of lubrication I could see you know where the where that shaft should be uh, where oil should be coming out and but it wasn't it didn't look crazy to me so hopefully the issue that I think it is which is oil running down the uh, the intake valves, you know, past the past the uh, past the seals if they're there, and um, hopefully I'm going to find that there are no seals installed. So I'm going to drain the coolant and uh, pull the head off, and let's have a look and see if they're there. So there's the underside of the head with with it just freshly removed and uh, I think for the most part it looks okay. Um, some carbon buildup on uh, the upper part of the combustion chambers. Um, looks like the back is maybe, the back cylinder maybe is just a little bit crustier than the others. Um, the only thing that really concerns me is this. I think that's a like a brass plug. And it looks as though um, it it kind of encroaches onto that uh, cylinder number two combustion chamber, and it's it seems to be inset. And I don't remember I don't remember if that's how it was when I put this together before, but I think it's probably supposed to look like this. And not quite sure what to do about that. And if I look inside the uh, flashlight here so that's the that's the concerning part to me a little bit because it looks as though some gases might be able to get between cylinders two and three it's hard to say the rest of it looks all right and i'm no judge about uh, you know how this cylinder walls should look at this point but and there's certainly some some crappy buildup inside uh, cylinders two and four seem to have the most so I'll clean all this up and uh, do a bit of research on whether that plug that little brass plug should be doing a better job of filling in this this space or not or if that could cause any issues so after a little bit of research, um, I decided to pull out this plug that was sitting, uh, it was recessed into the head. And uh, now I've got to try and find a replacement plug that's, uh, that's the proper size that I can 
press in and get it seated nice and flat. So I'll come back when I found something. So here is my solution. I'm sure that some people will think this is a terrible idea, but it makes sense to me. So, so what I did with this plug is I drilled a hole through the center of it and tapped it and pulled it out. And then I, I needed to increase the diameter of the plug just a little bit. So I compressed it and because brass is soft, I was able to increase it by a few thousandths of an inch. And then I pounded it back into the block carefully. Uh, it still sat just proud of the, sorry, into the top of the head. It sat just proud of the, of the surface. And so uh, that was fine. I knew I had to take that down a little bit. And then I filled the hole with, this is a, a brass stud that's used for mounting a toilet that I happened to have kicking around that was uh, tapped to the same same hole size and thread pitch as as the hole that was drilled in this plug to remove it in the first place. Then I cut a slot into it so I could screw it down. And so there's the better length of, of this into the water jacket uh, or the other the other one that I'd cut, in, cut the head off of. Um, so when I pounded the plug in flat, put in this, um, this modified bolt, which is also brass, tightened it down, you know, not so much that I lifted the plug out again, but enough that, uh, any pressure that might, you know, come from the combustion chamber and try and push that plug down again, hopefully that will prevent it, but it's in there tight and, uh, brass won't be affected by the coolant flowing past it and it's not going to block the water jacket. So I still have some cleanup left to do, um, but I did, I, the way I took that down, of course, I, I should have had it machined and that's clearly the proper way to do this, but uh, calling around and checking with a few machine shops, the, the local places quoted some pretty high prices to do what I was asking for, which was to drill and tap, you know, this plug and put something in and machine the whole thing down. Um, I think this is going to work. How I took this down without lowering the, the whole surface of the head is uh, I started off with a pretty coarse file and very, very carefully took down the, the bolt until it was very close to being flush. And the tape on the file was to prevent the file from, and I could only make short strokes, but the, the tape was to prevent it from taking any material off of the surface on either side as I worked uh, the plug down. And then as I got closer and closer, I used finer and finer file and I checked the files for, for straightness with, uh, with a straight edge. And then finally to a quite a fine file. And there was some, uh, some tape on this as well so that I could make some, you know, very short strokes, but finally got, got down very close to the level I needed. And then last but not least, uh, some 600 grit, uh, on a flat steel block. Uh, worked across the whole surface of the head until I got to, you know, very, very flush. And it's, uh, it's, it, it doesn't look great, but it's, it's almost as good as, you know, what they put in from the factory. And there aren't big gaps, even though it looks like there are, that's just a bit of uh, carbon that's, that's stuck in the edges. And then I checked it with, uh, with my straight edge and feeler gauge and you know, all around, checked like so, and like so with the feeler gauge in all the various locations, and and it seems to be straight. So um, I'm going to give this a go. Worst case scenario, I have to buy another head gasket and pull this off, but it's not not really that big of a job. And uh, I think this is at least as good as it was before, and probably better since that was probably depressed when I last put this head on and it didn't cause the head gasket to fail instantly, though it, it looked as though it was on its way. So uh, the next step is to take off the, uh, take the, the valve springs off, remove the valves, finish cleaning up the combustion chambers and, uh, and then probably lap those valves again, clean them up and install new springs and, and the seals that will hopefully prevent too much oil from getting down into these into these cylinders, which I hope has been fouling the spark plugs. So we'll come back when I'm taking those springs off.